Today is Sunday, the 7th of June, and we're fishing Shore Beach. What's going on people? Down Shore Beach. It's um, about four and a half hours high tide. So I'm down there really early. Just want to fish a couple of hours. Probably won't fish up to high water. But I'm literally on a run of about six planks. I've been up, yeah, six times I think and haven't managed to find a fish. So, I tend to make videos every time, but I just couldn't bother to upload them because there's only so many blank videos you can see. But today, I'm gonna catch fish. It's gotta be done. If I don't, <laughs> I won't be uploading this video, put it this way. But I'm gonna get us set up and let's try and catch fish. Okay, Rod with your tip gone for a one up one down rig and just squid but I've really really compacted my little squid wraps up there a couple centimetres long I've been fishing really big baits recently trying to find a big fish but I've decided to go smaller and compacter hopefully it's more appetizer for fish hopefully I'll find something this time but that one gonna whack it out as far as I can. Okay, second rod. Got a white tip there. Just using a running ledger for a micro head. Little tip. You can hook your head onto um, your hook onto the actual grip while the weight so it's clipped off a bit more aerodynamic so you can get a bit more distance. Looks like the sky's on fire behind me but it has a really pink purpley Sunset there, looks awesome. Looks a bit more stormy over Waven Way. It wasn't forecast to rain, but I had a shower about an hour ago and then I nipped out. But this one, I'm just going to whack out as far as I can as well. Okay, both baits out there now. Been out there about five minutes. Weather's looking quite nasty in places. Sun's just set. I was going to ask you guys, um, I know it's here. Cuttlefish eggs just on the floor where I'm sitting. Has anyone ever used them as bait? Are they any good? You see quite a few washed up and stuff. Same with squid eggs. But I don't have anything feeds on them. Um, let me know if you've used them as bait before. Have you caught anything? But today, I love to catch my first way. Still been a few come up. It's been pretty windy yesterday. So the water's been stirred up a bit. Just hoping it's not too weedy. No bites as yet. Been out about 45 minutes now. Just notice a bit of light coming on the back of the cloud line. So hopefully all these clouds are shifting over me spitting a tiny bit. I haven't got my shelter with me. But it'd be nice if they pass. I had a horrible experience about six, seven years ago I was fishing down there in the dark with horrible clouds like this. And then the next moment there was a massive flash of lighting, uh, lightning and I was just getting up off the floor. I don't know, all my stuff was on the floor. Um, I don't know what happened, there was a strike nearby or something. But it scared the hell out of me, <laughs> and it's made me super paranoid since uh, fishing at night. You just can't see anything. I remember it just felt like really warm. The sky was really pink, and just everything just felt like really weird. And then all of a sudden, there was a massive flash of light, 
instantly were a massive ban and next thing I knew I was just getting off the floor and all my stuff was on the floor. It was proper scary. So yeah, I am super paranoid when you've got clouds like that around you and you can't see. No one else fishing on the beach either, which is really strange. I noticed one one headlight right down in wild water, right on the distance over here. But yeah, yeah, you might see it then, just flash up. But yeah, I'm just holding out. I'd love to catch a ray, but I have to wait and see. Don't know how long I'll stay out for. It starts raining. I can't see myself staying for too long because I'm going to get soaked. But then I have got this week off work, so I've got a couple of opportunities to get out again and fish. So I'm not too fast that I have to pack up early. Just be nice to catch a fish. Bye right, guys, did a bait uh, check about 10 minutes ago. All bait, untouched, no weed, so that's a good sign. I know it's early on in the tide. Tides actually late, so then I thought high tides about 25 to 2. I thought it was about quarter to one uh, tonight, so I'm actually quite early. Um, still raining, but you can see the clear sky appearing behind me, getting bigger and bigger. So I'm hoping it comes over this way. It's just like really horrible, drizzly, sort of spitty rain. Um, don't know how long I'll stay for. Depends if this rain picks up and what the fishing turns into, I guess. Right guys, it's now 11pm. I've just had my last cast. Um, had a tiny bit of weed in my last cast. No bites yet. I can feel another plank coming on. I can't believe it. So, I'm just going to count on fishing for now 20 minutes or so, so we can find that fish. Um, quite surprisingly, still a bit of daylight, 11pm, <laughs> I suppose it is coming up to half my fifth year now, but yeah, very quiet, don't know what's going on with me at the moment, really struggling to find a fish, but hopefully by the end of this week I'll caught something, I'll get out there digging some fresh bait, maybe try to some mullet or something as well with the bread. I don't know, go find a fish this week, I can feel it. <laughs> right guys, that was my last cast. Baits untouched, no weed this time. And yet, yeah, no fish. <laughs> I'm really not feeling it uh, today, so I'm calling it a night. Um, I'm going to go out again this week, a uh, good couple of times. And I'll definitely find a fish at some point, hopefully. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah, nice one. What is going on people? Back down shore and beach and it's low tide. I don't normally fish at low tide but high tide is about quarter past one tonight so I thought bank holiday Monday tomorrow let's do a low tide up. I don't know if I reach high tide see how the fishing is but I thought I'd just show you what it's like down here at low tide to see what I can normally fish on to pure sand and as you can see there's a bit of a gully which runs along the whole stone line there and when you're at the top of the bank along up here that's what I try and aim for because you get the fish running along here it's all the natural scrap line all the little fish feeding 
but I've had fish, literally, where I'm set up there, 10 meters, 10, 15 meters, casting into that. And yeah, I've had my PB bass from about that distance out, just along there. But today, I found some frozen sand hills in my freezer, which I don't actually remember buying frozen sand hills ever. So maybe someone gave them to me at some point and I've just chucked them in the freezer and I've got some squid. But I want to try and find my first ray. I never, well, I had a palm sized form back years and years ago, right down by the arm in the distance over there somewhere. But not anything of decent size. So you, there has been a few underlit rays caught off Wervin Pier which is right down from the distance there um, the last few nights so um, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit lucky I haven't had a fish in a while so hopefully all the blanks build up to a nice fish um, get set up but I'll get a bait in the water soon ok I've just set up a very lazy running ledge on both my rods I've got uh, about 3 foot of 60 pound line, I've got a um, mustard big gun, I love using these smooth hounds, very strong hooks, uh, size 2, and there's a size 5, gone ways, and then this one, I've got a sand hill, and two size 3 Aberdeen hooks, just long shanks just to be able to keep the sand hills first attention into the way. Um, little tip I've learned as well, because it's a running ledger you can just hook it on the grip weight and when that hits the water hopefully it'll just flip off, same for the squid as well. Just for to go a little bit distance when you're casting. Um, I put the running ledger straight onto my shock leader, uh, sort of making a rig up, it's a 60 pound shock leader, so I've got a slider to slide up and down, I can't put a bead on it because was too lazy to go to the bottom of my tackle box to get the bead out. Right. The tide's coming a bit now, so I'm going to the stones. I'm just going to whack them out as both sides of camp now. I have just found myself a little Brucey bonus. I um, kept a rock in my bucket just to wear it down, and last time when I went and got some crabs, this was left behind still alive and it's just started to peel it's just starting to pop around the edges a bit so I've got some bonus bait I've handed those smooth hands around so I'm sure I'll be using that at some point tonight just casted both my rigs out as far as I can see he's just about hitting the pebbles now it's just a waiting game for a bite It's quarter to nine now. It's about four and a half hours of high tide or so. The tide is just on the stones now. The sand's completely gone. Just turn into a cracking sunset just behind those flats there. The sun's nicely positioned. Got another person who's just turned up to my right. And I can see a couple of rods to my left. Uh, this is going to be a busy night down here. Um, I'm down here early, so I've got my space already, so. Woohoo! <laughs> no bites yet. I haven't done any bait changes yet either. Got to move back soon as well. It's only about four metres away from the water's edge. Trying this new app out on my phone, new camera app. It's busy over there, more people turn up into the section I'm pushing. But yeah, the camera app it seems to be working with the microphone, so hopefully the sound quality isn't too bad. The wind has dropped off actually as well. It's quite nice. I think it's supposed to be turned around a bit more northerly as the hours go on. So the sea should flatten right out as well. Not too, sore, uh, not too sure what sort of stage ray is coming on the tides. I thought I'd get down there early, you know, I'd fish the tide up and 
that they come and the flood inside. Um, they get sent a photo of one at the end of a groin in Lansing at low tide, just stuck in the puddle, uh, stuck in the little rock pool there. Um, must have been over ten pounds. So they are definitely about, and I've seen photos of people's reports and stuff. So it'd be nice to find one today. Okay, I've moved up the beach now. I wish this camera would show it do justice. But the sky is so orange and pink, it looks awesome. It's weird, it looks so bright in front of me, but it's a hell of a lot darker. No bites yet. I had a little bit of weed on my left hand rods on the line, so I managed to shake it through. I think I'd take in my right hand rod soon with the sand hill and see what condition that's in. Okay, that's my sand hill. Looks rather shriveled up. A few little crab marks in there. Had all this slimy May Ross on it, but the water's alright. I think I'm just gonna add another sand hill to that, double it up, cast it back out again. It's now quarter past ten, three hours to high tide. There's still no bites. I just added a crab to the sand hills to see if we get some scent in the water, maybe a smooth pound. But it's still a nice evening to be out. Plenty of other people fishing. I don't have anything landed from anyone yet. Hopefully, in the next hour or so, there should be some fish. Just had a very slight bite on my right hand rod. It was a very slow pull down on the right hand side there. I haven't seen any more bites since then. Just keeping an eye on it. I've been feeling the line, I haven't felt anything. Hoping whatever it was comes back. Okay, it's now two hours to high tide. Um, no more bites. I've been keeping an eye on my right hand rod for the last 10 minutes and nothing, so I think I'll go take it in to a bait check. Looks like the guys to my left just had a ray. Just made that silhouette just as he's was walking down with it. For me, no bites yet. Okay, about 20 minutes to midnight, so I'll probably be calling it time at midnight because it's been very slow. We're down here since about 7 o'clock, so it's 5 hours fishing for half a bite. Another sass light going over. Not too sure what one it is. I don't know if you can see it swaying on the camera or not. Very exciting really to see what's all this sort of stuff just going around in space. It's fading away now, but it's reflecting from the sun's going. Don't know if you can hear the sea, but you're keeping the spells picking up a bit. Always happens after you've had a windy day or so. You seem to get big rollers coming in and a big swell. But no fish yet. Turn my light on. Got about another 15 minutes to save and I'm going to pack up. Right guys, it's midnight now. So I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to take my lines in and let's see the damage. Well guys, what can I say? Whole squid on touch. And the other squid on touch. That one I actually attached half a fillet of mackerel to it as well. Not really a nibble. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. This is the longest run of blanks I've had in a long time. Must be like blank five or something. I think the last time I caught a fish was February and that was probably just a whiting. So yeah, don't know what's going on there. But I'm going to have to try and get out again soon. Um, don't know when, don't know what to target. Might try shore and port, try and get a small, a few small species together. Um, just need to catch fish really, get that confidence back again. But if you like this video, get a thumbs up. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.